Hello and welcome to JS2. So today we are going to see about JS and remote sensing exit exam questions with their answers. So these are templates that are used as a reference for students which will be graduated in B degree in remote sensing, JS and geography as well and other supplementary courses. So let us go to the questions. So uh, Question number one, which of the following is true about remote sensing? A, it is a process of acquiring information about the surface without physically being in, in contact with it. So it is, it is within a distance, it means, so it is true. B, it is a process of collecting data by physically being in contact with the surface, it is false. It is not uh, physically in contact, rather with a distance. So, uh, C, it is a process of acquiring information about the surface by drilling holes into it. No, it is not by drilling or, or by digging holes. D, it is a process of acquiring information about the surface by conducting surveys. So it is not about surveys. So the correct answer is A, it is a process of acquiring information about the surface without physically being in contact with it. So it means it is within remotes. Question number two, which was the following example of an active remote sensing technology. So uh, in remote sensing, two types of remote sensing are presented, active remote sensing and passive remote sensing. In passive remote sensing, we have uh, SENS, LIDAR, Landsat, and other remote sensing technologies which, uh, which do not have their own source of energy, rather they use other source of energy like sun, uh, sunlight. Whereas active remote sensing is like a radar, uh, uh, leader and other uh, uh, remote sensing types. So the correct answer is leader technology. Question number three, which of the following statements is true about remote imagery, remote sensing imagery? So uh, it is about remote sensing imagery. So A, it can only be collected during the night, the day. B, it can only be collected during the clear uh, weather conditions. C, it can be collected during any time of the day or night and under any uh, weather conditions. So it can be collected during the day or it can be collected dur during the night and it can be collected within any weather conditions. The only thing that is going to make a difference is um, the sensors, the sensors that are going to capture the remote sensing imagery. So, so, Correct answer is uh, C. It can be collected during any time, any time of day or night, and under any weather conditions. Okay. Uh, question number four: Which of the following remote sensing platform is best suited for monitoring changes in urban areas over time? So, in urban areas or in town cities and other urban structures. So, A. Airborne platforms. B. Spaceborne platforms. C. Ground-based platforms. So, the answer should be. Spaceborne platforms, so spaceborne platforms is monitoring the urban area or within uh, the uh, station, the station in the space. Okay. Question number five: Which of the following remote sensing techniques can be used to study the distribution of vegetation in a forested area? So there is a forested area. So how can we are going to study the distribution of vegetation? A leader, B uh, radar, C hyper spectral imaging, D thermal imaging. Thermal imaging. So this is hyper spectral imaging. Hyper spectral imaging is a type of remote sensing which uh, contains more than hundreds of uh, uh, bands of uh, images, uh, bands which is used to discriminate uh, the different vegetations and the their distribution over in a dense forest area. So what uh, uh, it differs from other remote sensing is that it uh, contains hundreds of uh, bands. This band uh, it helps to identify, discriminate uh, the distribution of vegetation in a dense and a forested area, whereas other remote sensing is different in purpose. Question number six, among the following functions that can be performed by digital image processing is, so digital image processing, the, uh, there is a, a type of steps which follows in the digital image processing. A, fast image storage and retrieval, B, controlled view, C, image uh, reforming. So all this uh, uh, controlled viewing uh, uh, is 
the function that can be formed during the imaging process. So digital imaging process, as you can see here, is a software that allows to alter the process. It is not a software, rather it is a process that allows you to alter digital images using a computer. Using a computer with uh, with many pro many softwares like that Imagine, Envy, and other etc. softwares. It is also used to improve images and extract useful information from them. So ex extract information. We, uh, uh, to uh, get extract uh, to uh, extract information valid information from images that's why digital image processing is conducted okay great so let us uh, continue so question number seven the spectral region of electromagnetic radiation which passes through atmosphere without much attention is known as a ozone hole b atmospheric window uh, c ozone window b black hole so this is atmospheric window. The atmospheric window is part of the spectral uh, regions of in the spectrum of the electromagnetic radiation that passes out without much attention is known as atmospheric window. The part of a window that is found in the spectrum of remote sensing. Okay, great. Uh, question number eight. A remote sensing uses which of the following waves in its procedure? Electric field, sonar waves, gamma rays, electric electromagnetic waves so the answer is electromagnetic waves so remote sensing uses electromagnetic radiation in order to measure and detect things and to react reflect from the surface okay great so as you can see here explanation uh, written in excel explanation electromagnetic waves are used in case of remote sensing so the different waves present in this spectrum in universe are used a variety of waves based on what the conditions present and can be have a better output a better output okay great number nine the relation between velocity wavelengths and frequency can be given as a Wavelength is equal to velocity over R. B wavelength is equal to velocity over F over frequency. So, which is a mathematical relationship between velocity and wavelength uh, as well as frequency have been conducted? Here is that wavelength is equal to uh, velocity divided by uh, frequency. So, this is a uh, the photons are the main uh, constant particles in the electromagnetic energy. So this is a relation between velocity, wavelengths, and uh, frequencies determined by lambda is equal to uh, uh, velocity over f, where uh, this symbol represents wavelengths, f is the frequency of wave, and uh, c uh, represents the velocity of uh, wave, which is equal to the speed of light, which equals to the speed of light, which equals to the speed of light. So this Symbol represents uh, wavelengths. Now, quite great. Uh, question number ten: Which of the following is not a principle of remote sensing? So, in remote sensing, there are uh, principles in order to be function in, in, in order to uh, get uh, information that is required for uh, to measure things and det detections. A interaction of energy with the satellite. B electromagnetic energy. C electromagnetic spectrum. The interaction of energy with the atmosphere. So, which one of the following is not the principle of remote sensing? Interaction of energy with satellites, electromagnetic energy. So, the first one, the first one is the interaction of energy with the satellite is not the principle of remote sensing. So, remote sensing involves certain principles which are applied for having a good result of desired output. The principles are what? Electromagnetic energy, electromagnetic spectrum, interaction of energy with the atmosphere. So interaction of uh, energy with the satellite is not the principle of remote sensing. So uh, now let us continue with the next question. The next question is uh, number 11. The altitude and distance of geostationary satellite from theirs is about. So there are geostationary satellites, sun synchronous, uh, sun -synchronous satellites and geostationary satellites divided into two. So it is usually 36,000 above uh, kilometers, 36,000 kilometers from Zerz's surface. From Zerz's surface. Okay, great. Question number two: Pick 
up the incorrect statement from the following. So which one of the following is not true in short? A any remote sensing technique, the observation place is called a platform. B pla platforms are stationary, not mobile. C spatial resolution of imaging system become poorer with increase of platform head. So the answer is platforms are stationary, not mobile. It is platforms are it may be stationary or it may it may be mobile, like uh, aeroplane, like other shooting materials are uh, mobiles, whereas in, in the case of uh, stationary, so in short, platforms may be stationary or mobile. You have to understand this. Number 13, which of the following helps to identify the objects on their surface? So there is an object on their surface. So which of the following method is uh, usually used to identify, you helps to identify uh, this object on their surface? A, atmospheric window, B, signature, C, radiometric error, D, none of the above. So this is signature. Signature is a reflectance of uh, light uh, this, uh, when the uh, a reflectance of light is uh, available, so that is called signature. Using this signature, we are going to identify whether it is a soil, it is a uh, vegetation, or it is a water body. So this is called what? Signatures. Number 14. The changes in the uh, reflectivity or emissivity with time is called a spectral variation, b spatial variation, c temporal variation. The changes in reflectivity or emissivity with with time is called temporal variation. With time is called temporal variation. It is time-based variation. That means okay, great. Number fifteen. What is the correct sequence of steps in in uh, image processing? Image acquisition, image enhancement, image restoration, color imaging, comparison, wavelets, multi-resolution processing, morphological process. So the correct process is there is image acquisition. So there is image enhancement. Improvement that means so there is image restoration that means after image enhancement we have to correct so there is color image processing so there is wavelets and multi resolution processing so by this we are going to compress and the morphological processing will continue so this is a correct form of um, image processing in digital image processing of DIP number 16 which which step of processing images are subdivided successively into smaller regions? Image enhancement, image acquisition, segmentation, wavelets. So these wavelets uh, are particularly used for image data compression and for primarial representation in which images are subdivided successively into a smaller regions. A smaller regions. So this is what is the concept of wavelets are uh, called. Number 17, which of the following is remote sensing application for land administration? A. Land tenure, B. Cadastral mapping, C. Land use classification, D. All of, all of the method, what are the application of remote sensing? E. Observe or measure properties or conditions of land, oceans, and atmosphere. F. Map spatial distribution features, G. Record spatial change. So, which of the following remote sensing applications for land administration? It may land tenure, it may uh, cadastral mapping, it may Land use classification. So the correct answer is all of the mentioned water implication of remote sensing. Okay, great. Number eight, which of the following indicates the correct set of combination in a radio waves? Shorter wavelengths, high frequency, longer wavelengths, less frequency, shorter wavelengths, less frequency, longer wavelengths, high frequency. So the correct answer is longer wavelengths, high frequency. Okay, great. Which of the following indicates the function of a sensor? A absorbs wavelengths. C is sensitive to wavelengths, D transmits energy, D reflects energy. So the correct answer is transmits energy. So this sensor is uh, used to transmit energy from the uh, satellite to the surface of the Earth. The surface of the Earth. Question number 20 What is the function of geoprocessing? A manipulates global data, B manipulates spatial data, C manipulates local data. In one of the so the, uh, the correct answer should be manipulates local data. Geoprocessing means geocoding. So this is a geocoding of images that is called manipulates local data. Okay, great. 
question number 22 which of the following are considered while developing digital photography database for GIS a aerial photography b satellite imagery c topography maps d all of the above which of the following consider developing a digital topography database so in order to develop digital topography database so it is uh, database means a collection of information and a collection of folders that are going to uh, make a big data so the answer is all of the above question number 23 which of the following are application of web mapping a google maps b bing maps c open street maps d all of the above so this is uh, all of the answer are true because google maps use what web browsing bing maps also the same is true open street maps are parts of the world the web mapping okay great Question 24. Modern JS technology uses blank type of information, analog, digital, both A and B, DNN. So if we have modern JS technology, we are going to use what? Digital, digital type of information. Okay, great. 25. JS was coined by Roger Tamilson, Roger James, Richard Nunozaba. So this is... Uh, the answer is Roger Tomilson. This is uh, called, this person is called the father of JS. The father of JS who uh, uses the term JS and uh, defines very comprehensively according to other subjects. Okay, great. Question number 26. JS represents Z coordinate in blank direction, horizontal direction, vertical direction, tangent, ticket, and observer. So this is so this horizontal uh, direction, this uh, Z coordinates are horizontal directions horizontal directions so this is what we have today uh, thank you for watching